Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy new month. So if you guys do not know, Chris Brown is back in the news, child. He is trending all over Twitter because he got very upset at a fan. So this is what happened. If y'all don't know, Chris Brown was in Berlin on Wednesday and he invited one lucky girl, honey, lucky, quote unquote. Uh, he invited her up on stage for a lap dance for the entire audience to see, which is, you know, a bonus gesture from Chris Brown. So while Chris Brown is trying to dance on her and give her a lap dance and his dancers are all on her and everything else, she proceeds to just keep looking in her phone. Can somebody please tell me what the fuck is going on? That's really what the fuck I want to know. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> She's filming it. It's just really weird. It's like she's not even living in the moment. She's so focused on her phone. And they're just dancing around her, and she's not really paying any attention. She's still holding on to her phone for dear life, you know, trying to, you know, record glimpses of this. And so after a while, Chris Brown gets so upset, he ends up doing, like, the craziest, you know, jump move. He, he like, jumps, grabs her phone, and just tosses it to the audience. And the still shot is everything. It's such a funny-ass still shot. It looks like he's doing ballet, and you just see her phone just flying. And, of course, she's shocked. But even what's funny is the commentary. Even the person who's recording all this is like, oh, my God, what is she doing? You're going to annoy him. Why are you not paying attention to him? He's dancing. You're lucky. You're on stage. And he ends up chucking the phone. And the, the whole video is just insane. It's all over Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the video right now. Go ahead and check this out. No, look, she's on the phone again. Nah, he's going to get annoyed. She's actually irritating my life right now, I'm telling you. I'm gonna dash your phone. I'm really gonna dash your phone. Woo! She's annoyed. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw the video, and it's so funny because it's almost like the girl just knew what was going to happen, the girl who's doing the commentary, and she's basically speaking for all of us. Even if you're not a fan of Chris Brown, replace Chris Brown with your favorite, you know, entertainer, your favorite rapper, singer, and this girl, you paid money for these tickets. You know these tickets aren't cheap, right? Y'all know the economy's slowly crashing, so you, you spent your money to go see Chris Brown, and on top of that, you were picked out of thousands of people to get up on stage. And you're so narcissistic that you can't even put your phone down and live in the moment. And I think her behavior speaks to a lot of what we see in the culture. Not to get super deep, but it's the truth. You have a lot of narcissism. You have a lot of people who are more, who are more worried about selfies and taking video and pictures than just living in the moment. It's okay to film a quick snippet. It's okay to, you know, take a quick picture. But when you're watching an entire concert through your camera lens, that's an issue because that means you're not living in the moment. You're looking through your camera lens and focusing on filming the celebrity, which means you're not even acknowledging the time and space that you're, that you're in. You're not acknowledging the pyrotechnics, the decorations, the background dancers, you know, the set design, because you're so focused on, I got to get this film for the internet. You know, it's insane. So a lot of people, you know, are not mad at Chris for this. This is not the first time Chris has taken somebody's phone. I remember a few months ago, Bad Bunny got upset because a girl got too close. She was recording literally dead in his face. And he took her phone and threw it in the water. <laughs> You know, the baby, that asshole, he punched a woman for being too close to him and recording him. So I think, you know, we need to get back to if we're going to go to concerts and going to go see these celebrities perform, 
We need to get back to really paying attention. There was a picture that went viral a few weeks ago. We're showing an NBA Finals game in the 90s versus now. Someone posted this picture and it really made me sad. It said no phones out versus all phones out. And it showed Jordan back in the day, everybody living in the moment, watching him hit a clutch shot. Then it showed more recently, LeBron James. Everybody has their phone out. People used to enjoy the moment and live for the now. They didn't have the psychological manipulation of thinking about what other people were gonna think of it or getting it it was just being there watching it being a part of something and back then there were no camera phones everybody was living in the moment they were watching these basketball players play but then when you look at it in today's modern times everybody's watching the game via recording on their phone so it's really sad that we don't live in the moment but the good news is she did get her phone back so chris brown um tweeted out shoddy got her phone back and of course tmz was able to get the the photo of her getting her phone back so her phone you know was retrieved she got it back you know lucky for chris brown because somebody could have stole her phone or if he would have hit someone in the head with that phone that'd be a lawsuit so that's another thing these celebrities have to be careful you know just flinging shit you know throwing a phone that far and fast and hitting somebody in the damn forehead you can knock them out so you know all in all nobody was hurt but it is causing some controversy because people are saying see this is proof he's still violent he hasn't changed but i don't think this is proof i think yeah chris brown has his issues but i think in this moment she was being disrespectful and narcissistic and I, I just think at this point people are getting tired of it it's like either live in the moment or don't go to these events you know don't go out if you can't even take a break from your phone while you're on stage being you know serenaded and and danced on it's it's ridiculous it's ridiculous and it's crazy but this is you know this is the world that we live in so anyways i leave the question up to you guys how do you guys feel about this situation do you feel like chris brown was wrong for snatching her phone and throwing it do you feel like she was being narcissistic and rude for constantly trying to film as opposed to living in the moment and how do you guys feel about people and their phones like anytime you go to an Audi nowadays I don't care if it's concert venues um sports events how do you feel about people who sit and record literally the whole time and they never actually pay attention to the game or the event that they've come to see so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment down below feel free to share the video make sure you hit that thumbs up and last but not least make sure you still subscribe to this channel and I will talk to y'all later deuces if you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.